In this episode, we will need to create some form of state. So whenever this page loads, we will default some values of this product to be in state. And then we will be able now to maybe change the color, change the quantity and so on. So the reason why we can't use this product directory is because first of all, it lacks some properties. It doesn't have the quantity. Also, we will not be including all the images, but only the selected image uh, together with the, its color. And also we will not be including reviews when adding our product to cut. So we'll create state and then we will default some of these properties and add new ones. So to do that, we just need to go to the product details and we will start by defining the types of that particular state. So here, uh, export type, we will call it cut product because this is the product that we will be adding to cut. So cut product and first of all, we'll be having an ID which will be a string Okay, here I missed an equal sign. So when defining a type, we must include an equal sign here, but for interface, we don't need to. We have an ID of string name will be string description will be string. We'll be having category, which is also a string. Most of these are strings. Then we'll be having brand stream. We'll be having selected image IMG. And we'll set this to a type of selected image. So we need to define that type just right here. So we can just say export uh, type selected IMG which will be equal to these properties for a single image we have color which is a string and then we have color code which is also string and finally we have an image so this is also a string uh, i can start with this one with a caps right here and i say selected image type and then I will copy this one and use it here and also you can say cut product type awesome we add the quantity we can use qty and this will be a number and finally we'll have price and also this will be a number uh, for some reason i just like using the full name also we can still go with quantity here. So now we have this type and for this type we have the quantity which is not available on our product. We have selected image which is a single image while for our product we have multiple images and uh, yeah I think that's the main difference between the two. But now we will be able to change the quantity from this and we will be able to change this one and the rest remains. So what I'll do I'll create some form of state right here and whenever you are using state or any kind of hook you must mark that component as a client component by using this use client okay and that is one of the way that you can be able to differentiate between a client component and a server component because client components are interactive and they will be rendered on the browser okay now here uh, I'll set const square brackets cut product set cut product and we set this one to be equal to use state and now right here i can use the angle brackets and we pass the, the type for cut product right here so we say cut product type and this is what we have just defined right here at the top and then here we invoke use state and we pass some default values right here so the default values will be similar to these ones so we paste them here 
the only difference is that we are not defining the types but we are including the actual values okay so i'll select all string then use Control d to select all this and i remove and now we will set the values for each of them uh, here we'll have the product dot id that will be the default value then here we will have the product dot name then here we will have our product dot description then here we will have our product dot category here we'll have our product dot brand and here we will have a default uh, select for this one and how we will do it we will spread product dot uh, images so i have not spread this one use three dots here so we get to product dot images and then we use the square bracket and we select the first image so when uploading images we'll make sure that we have at least one image for each product so we are sure that these exist at any time and here we will have our product dot quantity okay we don't have product dot quantity but we can default this one to one okay and then the price product dot price and i save so now we have a default product that can be added to cart so at our button whenever we load this page we can directly add this to cart and also we are able to change the image and also we'll be able to change the quantity so we haven't implemented the functionality for this uh, but we are going to in a few uh, now in the next episode let's see how we will be able to change this selected image so when we change the selected image that means that we are also changing the color so the image and the color are like going hand in hand okay don't get confused so i'll see you in the next one